we mark a sad passing. Only hours ago, legendary writer and film director Nora Ephron died at 71 from complications brought on by leukemia. For four decades, she created complex, interesting female characters who captured Americans' hearts and always seemed to triumph in the end through humor and smarts, sort of like the lady herself. ABC's David Wright salutes a Hollywood legend. You might say she was the Aaron Sorkin of romantic comedy. It had to be you. A writer so gifted, she elevated the genre. When Harry Met Sally follows the classic boy meets girl formula, but the characters are so smart, so quirky, so talkative. So you're saying that a man can be friends with a woman he finds unattractive? No, you pretty much want to nail him too. Their quandaries so universal that the movie long outlasted the era of big hair. Instead, as she told Diane Sawyer in 1989, it's timeless. The men don't really want to be friends with women. They've already got friends. They've got men friends that they can talk to about all the important things like baseball statistics and things like that. Women, on the other hand, want to be friends with men because they think if I could just understand them, then maybe it wouldn't be so hard. Oh, God. In the most famous oh, scene God. in the film, Sally lets oh. Harry in on a female secret to sex. Oh. Yes! 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 Oh! 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 Oh, God! Oh! I'll have what she's having. A writer so talented, she could even make Billy Crystal a credible leading man. Are you comfortable? Sure. With Tom Hanks, it was less of a stretch. I was thinking about Seattle. He starred opposite Meg Ryan in two of Efron's films, in Sleepless in Seattle, playing a man who is single through no fault of his own. I just want somebody that I can have a decent conversation with over dinner, you know, without it falling down into weepy tears over some movie. Don't cry, shop girl. In You've Got Mail, he was the businessman who secretly has a heart of gold. Movies in which the girl rescues the guy, not the other way around. In Efron's hands, even an old TV classic like Bewitched became a parable about how modern women have to hide their power at home. In real life, Efron famously married Carl Bernstein in 1976 at the height of his Watergate fame. She was one of a handful of people who claimed to know the true identity of Deep Throat, Woodward and Bernstein's secret source. Her film Heartburn was inspired by the meltdown of that marriage after she discovered he'd had an affair with a mutual friend. Flower, look at all these flowers that you bought her! Bernstein threatened to sue, but never did. In Hollywood, Efron was beloved for writing strong female characters, the sort of characters Meryl Streep would play and did. Karen Silkwood in Silkwood, inspired by a true life story of a whistleblower at a nuclear plant. Julia Child in Julie and Julia, about a food blogger's obsession with the famous chef. Pearls, the woman is wearing pearls in the kitchen. And playing Efron herself in Heartburn, an experience Efron cherished. I highly recommend having Meryl Streep play you. If your husband is cheating on you with a car hop, get Meryl to play you. You will feel much better. In Nora Ephron's life, as in her films, humor is what helped make love possible and heartbreak bearable. Nora Ephron died today of leukemia at age 71, and she will be missed. Indeed. Our thanks to Dave. An outpouring tonight as stars from Tom Hanks to Meryl Streep have expressed their condolences to her family, to which I add my own. We were friends for the past 25 years.